Smack it. <laughs> Guys, this is my good old friend, Nick. He's one of the co-founders of Sweetgreen. Major brainiac businessman. I wanted to have you here because you're one of the kings of the salads. <laughs> and you're a great chef and foodie. I'm more of a solid home cook, I would say. But like a notch above a home. I would say when it comes to salads, I can call myself a chef. Maybe. I think so. Yeah. We have 100 Sweetgreen stores. We do, we coming can. this week, yeah. What are the tenets of a great salad? So I would say the most important thing by far is starting with the best ingredients. When they come from great farms, I grew them the right way in the, great, in the best soil, that's where the flavor comes from. Are there certain salad don'ts? One of the only rules I kind of follow is around just making sure the salad is balanced, mm -hmm. whether it's texture, flavor, make sure there's something crunchy, something sweet, something acidic maybe spicy, um, just making sure that your combination of ingredients is well balanced, I would say, is okay. probably one of the only rules. Okay. The other thing is when I go to the farmer's market, I feel kind of overwhelmed by all of the mm -hmm. salad options. When you're overwhelmed, you can just come into sweet green. That's what, that's what we're here for. <laughs> A good rule of thumb is to start with one or two greens. I generally like to mix some greens. So one that's kind of crunchy and one that generally is kind of spicy, like a mustard greens or an arugula. I'm a big fan of mixing raw and cooked ingredients. So making sure there's either some roasted veg um, or a roasted protein. Or quinoa. Generally something crunchy at the end. Okay. Some sort of nut or seed. And so when you've got a great set of ingredients in your bowl, then it comes down to the dressing. And really the dressing is so key. It's where a lot of the personality of the salad comes yeah. from. I in. feel intimidated to make a salad next to you. I'm I intimidated do. to make it next to you. I'm gonna start with some little gem. Okay. Because that is my uh, my favorite lettuce of all. I'll get some red oak. And then definitely want something spicy, so some of these mustard greens. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna copy there. I love mustard greens. It's like a weird, bitter, spicy amazingness. Color is also very important, mm. so I think the better your salad looks, the better it will taste Eat to you also. Eat the rainbow, Nick. Eat the rainbow, Eat the so. rainbow. So I'm gonna go for some of this purple kale, just because it's a beautiful color. Maybe for my color, I'll go with some of the purple cabbage. There is also some ingredients that can be base or veggie. Some of these raw Brussels sprouts I love, so I'm gonna throw some of those in. Okay, we'll do the same. I pretty much put fennel in almost every salad I make. The crunch, that licorice flavor, has great digestive properties. Yep. Always, always radish as well. That's your base, so then what's gonna be your flair, your salad flair? You know, I'm gonna do some squash, some delicata squash, which has been beautifully roasted. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go for some chickpeas. I love chickpeas. Whoops, my chickpeas have, <laughs> have gone rogue. And then here we have some beautiful roasted veggie. I think roasted mm. carrots, turnips, and fennel. Probably one, two chicken today and just load up on some quinoa. Okay. Got some beautiful tomatoes over there. Yeah, and I think, that, I think that'll be enough for me. It's a good looking salad. Is it sweet green approved? It is. So now generally I will- This looks uh, so good. So does yours. We can try each other's salads at the end. Okay. So now I, I generally would focus on the dressing. The dressing is really important because it ends up being the seasoning, obviously, and mm -hmm. the flavor profile of the salad. And really you want to complement the amazing veggies and the strong flavors you have from the produce. So what are you going to do for your dressing? So generally with the dressings, there's a certain ratio you want to hold somewhat true to. Mm -hmm. You want one to three-ish, so one acid, three parts fat. One to three acid to fat. So starting with some mustard, and then I'm going to add a little bit of red wine vinegar. I'm gonna add some anchovies to mine. Add a little bit of shallot. And then I actually like to put a little bit of hot sauce. Ooh, hot sauce. Just to give it a bit of a backbone. That's very cool. Tiny bit of sweet, so I'll add just a little, the tiny bit of honey. Mm. Just to round out all the acid. Oh yes, very important salt and pepper. All right. And then my favorite thing to do in a salad is actually zest. I do a little bit of zest in the dressing and then to finish the salad actually. I might need to copy you on that. Yours looks good. Nice good color. What else is in yours? An anchovy olive oil? Mine is anchovy, Dijon, red wine vinegar, a little bit of maple syrup, pepper, salt, and olive oil. And now your secret trick of lemon zest. I think yours might be better than that. I don't think so. I always am following you and your wife. You're my like <laughs> foodie North Stars. If you had to name your favorite restaurants in the world that have really blown you away. Estella in New York. Mm -hmm. It's probably my all-time favorite restaurant. Okay. A squirrel here in LA. Yes. Uh, Felix. Yes. And that focaccia he makes is pretty famous. Uh, he actually made our wedding cake out of the focaccia. <laughs> oh my God. So he went a little non-traditional. And nothing beats my mom's home cooking. Oh. So I gotta throw that in there. I'm gonna taste to see if I... So what, what herbs would you put on this salad? 
We have some beautiful micro cilantro here. I'll probably do some of this. Mm. I'm a sucker for basil, so I'll probably tear a bunch of basil into it. You can chop this up or you can just hand tear it. It looks beautiful. All right, here's a plate. Wow, that looks really good, Nick. Yours looks great. All right, I'm gonna start with yours. Please. Mmm. Nice clean dressing. Mm-hmm. And sometimes when you are lucky enough to have ingredients this fresh, mm -hmm. it's like you meet your body like immediately thanks you when you start to. It can tell the difference. That's oh, amazing. Yeah. And even having arugula that's from a grocery store versus the farmer's market is night and day. All right, let's try yours. All right. Squirrely grains all over the place. Mmm. That dressing. I love an anchovy. We nailed it. We did. Feels like that needs to make its way on the sweet green menu. <laughs> I'm joking. God, can you imagine? If I had a salad on the sweet green menu, I would feel like I finally made it. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you guys enjoyed our fantastic at-home sweet green plethora of salad <laughs> ingredients. Thanks for having so me. It's so fun to have you.